All right, y'all. It's 5.15 in the morning on January 23rd. I'm doing this. I haven't had coffee. I still got bedhead. But I wanted to tell you all that the Pathfinder Humble Bundle crossed 100,000 units sometime in the night. I checked it last night. It was like at 97,000 when I went to bed, which is around 9 p.m. Central Time. I woke up this morning. It has crossed 100,000 units sold uh, down here. You'll notice uh, it should highlight there for you. 101 thousand one hundred and sixty eight units as of this and it still has another seven hours and 43 minutes to go so there's still plenty of time for people to get in on this and get a copy of it uh it's it's pretty amazing to me um the fact that in in the wake of so i came into this man my brain's all over the place right now because i haven't had haven't had my coffee yet um it's pretty amazing to me the amount of support that Pathfinder has gotten as a result of the OGL. You know, I've always been aware of Pathfinder, but for those of you who've been around my channel for um, any length of time, I would argue, whether it's a month or six months, um, I, I've, I, I enjoy Pathfinder video games. Never played the Pathfinder uh, tabletop stuff. I've always been in the D and D camp, just because of you know Forgotten Realms and Dragonlance, and I love those worlds. So when this came available, I was immediately like, "Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this up," and I did. I totally picked up the whole bundle. I made a video about it. I think it's been actually the sticky video on my channel for like the last three weeks or however long the sales been going on because I really wanted to do my part in helping to drive awareness to this because for 25 bucks you'll be able to get 28 PDFs, 28 books. That's a ton of information. It's a, it's a ton of resources. Now, I'm not actually in the getting ready to do a Pathfinder campaign because Starfinder has got me by the balls. And I'm really enjoying uh, everything I'm learning about Starfinder with the Discovering Starfinder series. And we're going to start a campaign in l probably late March, early April. Um, and as soon as I'm done with that, I'm pretty much sure I'm going to be jumping into the Pathfinder stuff next. So, but having played the Owlcat games um, that they've done, uh, I can say that I at least understand from the world, from the Kingmaker and then uh, Wrath of the Righteous campaigns that those games cover. There's a richness of lore here that I can appreciate, even though I've not actually ever played the Pathfinder games. And Anybody who's ever listened to me ramble about tabletop knows that for me, the number one most important thing is the setting. The rules don't mean shit to me um, because rules can be tweaked. Rules are just a foundation layer. Um, I could take any rule set and tweak it. You have a D20 rule set. Well, I can make it a D6 rule set within five minutes. You know, it doesn't take any time for me to convert what's there into something that's playable because it's just easy. But that's the wisdom of age speaking because i've been dming and gming whatever you want to call it for you know 30 plus years now and so i can look at something and, and it's just a skill set um anyway I'm, i sound like i'm bragging i'm not i promise i'm just it's early and my brain's all over the place Hundred thousand units sold how cool is that i have seen the community come together in a way that is unlike anything else i've ever seen I'm getting up there, you know, I'm middle-aged, I'm 43 years old, and I've, I've seen a few different, you know, protests and things in my time. I've lived in a lot of other countries where protesting is much bigger than it is in, say, the United States, um, and, and yet this is the first time I've seen people come together in this way over a, a hobby, and it was all related to, you know, Wizards of the Coast and their... OGL nonsense. So in a way, even though I still feel hurt, you know, by what they did, because it, it ruined and, and tar it didn't ruin, it tarnished. That's a better way to look at it. Wizards of the Coast tarnished um, the reputation of Dungeons and Dragons for me. Um, it also made me and many other people aware of Pathfinder in a way that maybe we hadn't been in 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 the past. I've been very open about the fact that. Um, I'm not one of those people who's like, um, you have to try everything under the sun. I'm not, I'm not one of those people. If I find something that I like, I'm very much content to just have that. Um, 
there was always more than enough content coming out from Dungeons & Dragons to keep me satisfied as a reader, as a tabletop gamer, as a uh, video gamer, um, and being able to use those rule sets to homebrew my own things over the years, um, the monster manual and everything else. And so I never needed to look very far beyond just, you know, a, a handful of books to be able to have all the entertainment that I ever needed or wanted in life. Um, that's not to say that there aren't many, many interesting games and systems out there. So I'm very, I'm very, um, happy in that sense that even though Wizards of the Coast kind of tarnished my, you know, the reputation of D&D, it opened my eyes to Pathfinder. And I mean, look at the artwork on these books, first and foremost, like I'm a sucker for artwork and everyone's going to say, oh yeah, but every, every game has good artwork, maybe, but I, I just like the, the art style that's gone into this. And one of the things I've noticed and this is going to be something that someone will, will key in on because I just said a minute ago that the rules are way less important to me than the um, than the setting. Um, I've only just like I've glimpsed at the core rulebook for the second edition, which is part of this pack. It's like 600 plus pages. I mean, it's like I feel I don't have it in front of me. I feel like it's twice the size of you know. Uh, and that's that may be an exaggeration. I don't I don't know um, off the top of my head, but it, it's it's got a lot more meat on its bones in terms of the core rules than fifth edition. Now I'm always a big fan of AD and D and 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 second edition AD and D. It's always been my favorite. Um, so I appreciate a chunky, crunchy rule set. And I know that that Starfinder is like a a, a middling it's like between pathfinder one and pathfinder two but i've already noticed that just in the read through of the starfinder core rulebook doing my discovering starfinder series that the the rules are there's a lot more base stuff there that you could pull from to use in your world um in terms of just the little ways that they do things and i appreciate that as a base to pull from even though i might not use all those things and I might tweak it for my own things because I like to play around with things and I like to, you know, be able to manipulate it on the fly. That's kind of the thing I was talking about earlier when I, it sounded like I was bragging. Hopefully it didn't come across as me bragging. Well, I was mostly just referring to the fact that, you know, with 30 plus years of experience, it's easy for me to take any rule set and just pull it apart. And so I keep rambling. It's early. I need my coffee. I've reiterated that. I've said that multiple times too. Thank you to everyone who made this happen. The fact that this got 100,000 sales and it's still growing and we've got like another, you know, as of this recording, it's like seven and a half hours. So I don't know. I'm going to try to get this out by 6 a.m. So I'm going to try to get a quick turnaround on this. Um, thank you to everybody who made this happen. And to all of you who are going to be learning about Pathfinder, like me, I've never played Pathfinder as soon as I wrap up the Discovering Starfinder stuff and, and get into that campaign, I'm going to be turning around and doing the same thing. With Pathfinder, I'm going to have a have a discovering Pathfinder series here on my channel. We're going to be diving into the core rulebook for Pathfinder and reading through that live with everybody through a series of videos. So if you want to learn alongside with me, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. If you can, hopefully you you will. You can support the channel. There's lots of different ways. Everybody who's out there who helps keeps me on the air and lets me do this full time. So thank you so much for that. There's memberships, super chats, super thanks, super stickers. There's the Patreon page where you can get our source book for our tabletop game, as well as the first module, which is levels one to four. We're currently in the middle of production for the next module, which follows directly after that in the storyline. You can also read the fantasy novel that's associated with that at the Patreon page. And there's also a point and click adventure game set in that same world. So check that stuff out as well. There's a discord down below. Thanks for listening to me ramble with my bedhead this morning, everybody. Um, I'm going to go get some coffee now, and I'm going to celebrate the fact that this Pathfinder bundle sold 100,000 units. It's freaking awesome. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. Happy gaming. See you next time.